Greetings builders, Daniel here and welcome to the last part of my top 12 builds for the Necropolis League. If you missed the previous parts, don't worry, you can find our links together with the POBs and complete guides for all those builds in the video description. And if this video helps you, please leave a thumbs up to support the channel. Thank you very much and let's get into it! In third place we have this amazing and almost unkillable starter build. I'm talking about the Detonate Dead Necromancer with the Witch class. This build uses the Transfigure Gem Detonate Dead of Chain Reaction to explode many corpses with only one click, and clear huge amounts of enemies quickly without sacrificing single target damage. To visit the pros of this build I would start with its survivability. Once you have a little more currency you can make this character almost immortal with just a few unique items. It's absolutely amazing. This is also very simple and cheap to put together, it doesn't need any mandatory unique item, and above all, it also counts with great clear speed and boss damage. Now to visit the cons, the first thing that comes to mind is that you need to keep casting Desecrate before using Detonate Death, and some players just don't like this kind of playstyle where you need to use two different skills all the time. Another issue is that in order to have an optimized damage, you need to farm 5 specific specters, but don't worry. On my complete guide I'll teach you exactly where to find them. As for budget, this build is super cheap, you can get it destroying early end game maps with only around 55 chaos. To comfortably advance to yellow maps I recommend investing around 120 chaos, and for easily completing our atlas I recommend investing around 4 divines, but you can totally do it with less. Don't forget that on poebuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipment that you need to buy for this build, with direct links for examples being sold by other players. For clear speed I'll give this build 9 out of 10, with only one click your detonate dad will start a chain reaction of explosions that will clear the whole screen of enemies, I just took one point out because we always have to start casting desecrate first. The boss damage is very good and deserves 8 out of 10, with media investment you're going to kill guardians in a matter of seconds, it's just awesome to watch all those explosions on their feet. For this survivability I'll give it 10 out of 10. If you invest a little bit more currency buying a 4th Val Armor and Glorious Venet Duo, you end up with almost half a million effective HP, which is nearly unkillable. In second place we have the Spin to Wing Cyclone of Tumult Slayer with the Duelist class. The last PoE expansion brought the Transfigure Gems with it. This means an alternative version of Active Steel Gems. The Cyclone skill got the Cyclone of Tumult, it is a Cyclone wider and more powerful, but with the downside of being a lot slower. However, with an easy trick we can remove this downside and simply have a Cyclone with 33% more damage and 40% more error effect. To list the pros of this build I would start with clear speed, it's just amazing to be always moving and massacring all the poor enemies on the way. The boss damage is also incredible, once the build is done, you are going to kill even the big bosses in just a matter of seconds, and above all of that, this build is very simple and easy to put together. Now to list the cons I would point a few important issues and I'd like to ask you to pay close attention here. You see, this build has a great survivability once it's done, but when you're leveling your character you need to pace your progression, because you're always very close to enemies, if you're not prepared you are going to die. So take the extra time to pick up a few more levels before progressing to a high tier content. Another useful tip about your survivability is how to deal with stuns. On this build you get stun immunity with cluster jewels, but not everyone can afford them right away. If that's your case or if you're just having problems with stuns sooner, do this simple trick of picking those evasion nodes and this mastery, believe me, it helps a lot. As for budget, you can get it destroying early endgame maps with only around 90 chaos. To comfortably advance to yellow maps you need to invest around 115 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas I recommend investing around 6 divines. You only need one mandatory unique item for this build, the stampede boots that guarantee that your movement speed will always be 150% of its pace, this means that the downside of Cyclone of Tumult will mean absolutely nothing to us. For clear speed I'll give it 9 out of 10, Cyclone never stops moving and have a huge error of effect, so you can farm your maps without the need to stop for casting or anything like that, it's just awesome and very satisfying. The boss damage is just amazing and deserves 10 out of 10, when this build is done you're going to easily achieve over 15 million dps that is modern enough to destroy bosses in just seconds. 
Now for this survivability I'll give it 9 out of 10. This build achieves over 100,000 effective HP because of high armor, evasion, spell suppression, fortify and a lot of instant life reach. Now with the huge art of effect bonus from Cyclone of Tumult, you don't even need to stay very close to enemies on endgame, what gives you even more survivability. Finally in first place, the build that I had the most fun playing during the Necropolis League was the Archmage Ice Nova Hierophant with the Templar class. This build stacks as much mana as possible to take advantage of the Archmage support champ that grants up to 19% of your mana as extra lightning damage. The skill of choice was the Transfigured Gem Ice Nova of Frostbolts that deals a lot more damage when casted near a Frostbolt. And to make things smoother we're using the Kitava's Thirst Helmet to automatically cast the Frostbolts for us. To visit the pros of this build I would start with its boss damage. All of those overlapping ice novas on countless frost bolts cause bosses to die like simple monsters. The clear speed is awesome as well. With the help of frost blink of wintry blast, we can zoom through maps very fast while casting ice novas in all directions. It's just amazing. Now to visit the cons, I'll start saying that this build isn't cheap. It needs a few divine orbs to work properly. Another issue is that you must have extra mana in all pieces of equipment, and that might make the gearing process a little harder. Now talking about the budget, as mentioned before, this build isn't cheap. You need to invest at least 10 divine orbs to make it work. You only need 2 mandatory unique items for this build. The first and most important is the Kitava Thirst Helmet that triggers socketed gems when you use at least 100 mana in one cast. This makes the frost bolts needed to be casted automatically for a lot smoother clear speed. Next, we also need the anathema ring that causes our curse limit to be the same as our maximum power charges. In this case, 4. For clear speed, I'll give this build 10 out of 10. We're just super fast and our ice novas are all over the place the whole time. You won't even have the chance to see the enemies before they get obliterated. The boss damage is also amazing and deserves 10 out of 10. It's just so many overlapping ice novas being casted on countless frost bolts that the bosses won't even have the chance to survive over than 2 seconds. For this survivability I'll give it 9 out of 10. We not only have a big pool of life and energy shield, but also 50% of the damage is taken from mana before life. And as you know, we have a lot of mana on this build. We also hit enemies so many times per second that the instant leash causes your life to be full almost 100% of the time. And that's it for today guys, have you played any of those builds during this league? Please don't forget to share your experience in the comments and give a thumbs up to support the channel. I wish you guys an amazing day and don't forget to keep building!